In this video, we're going to see how to customize Forge's interface. People have many ways of working, and sometimes we may want to have specific tools easier to access than others. That's why Forger allows you to personalize its interface to make it more comfortable for you. Most people use the pencil with their dominant hand, and they prefer to use their non-dominant hand for minor actions. By default, Forger's sidebar is placed on the left, which assumes users are right-handed. If that isn't the case, you can change this from the UI tab in the Preferences menu, enabling the left-handed option. The menu will then be moved to the right, leaving the left side of the screen free for your dominant hand. You can also set your preferred border width. Remember that you can always use the border for navigation if visible when the value is set to small or medium. This is especially useful when you're really zoomed in and a model covers the entire canvas. The Defer System Edge Gestures option defines how easy it is to bring up the dock or the multitasking gestures. Forger has this option enabled by default, requiring an additional swipe up to bring up the dock. This avoids accidental swipes from the edge of the screen from closing the app, but you can disable this option if you prefer it to be easier to switch apps. You can also tweak the accent color to make the app more yours. This will change the primary color used across the app. Remember that you can always press and hold onto the options to know more about them. You can place the toolbox wherever you feel more comfortable, up, down, right, or the left of the screen. And you can set the brushes in your preferred order depending on how frequently you use them. Finally, you can personalize the shortcuts panel. If you press and hold, it will pop up from its usual location. You can drag and place it wherever you feel more comfortable by using the handle. If you press and hold the handle itself, two options will show up. Press the configure option to bring up the shortcuts configuration menu. You'll be able to decide the placement of the panel when docked, and when undocked, you can change the panel width, add or remove any additional shortcuts, or change the size and order of the buttons. If you commonly use specific actions like face grouping or modifying masks, you can get them added to the shortcuts panel. Tapping twice on the handle will make it snap back to its docking place. Also, there is an alternative way of accessing the configuration of your shortcuts panel at the bottom of the preferences menu. If you like this video, please let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like it.